Dr. Michael Houghton first started looking for the hepatitis C virus in 1982. It took seven years for him to find the nucleic acid that would open the field of viral hepatitis research. Inspired more by his hero Louis Pasteur than the idea of winning a Nobel Prize. There's nothing more prestigious to a scientist than the Nobel, so it, it, it's very nice. As nice as it is, what counts for me more is that we've been able to prevent millions of infections. The Nobel Committee says that discovery has saved millions of lives and is expected to save millions more. Globally, race hopes that hepatitis C virus can be controlled and eventually eliminated. Houghton's discovery led to hep C being virtually eliminated from donated blood supply in the early 90s. Transmission from blood transfusions fell by 80% in just a few years. But that was just the beginning, as Dr. Teresa Tam noted in her own shout out to Dr. Houghton. And of course, the discovery of this virus is extremely important now for the discovery on treatments and other ways of managing hepatitis C. Houghton's work laid the foundation for the development of drugs to cure hep C, the very first cure for any chronic viral illness. Today, 95% of patients with hep C can be cured. Houghton's colleagues and friends at the Li Ka Shing Institute are celebrating. He's very persistent and he's passionate about his work. He wants to do research that benefits patients. So what does a Nobel Prize winner do when the rush of accolades slow? Well, back to work, of course. Dr. Houghton's team of young Canadian scientists is manufacturing a hep C vaccine for global clinical trials next year. We're up to our necks in that right now. A vaccine could be publicly available in the next six or seven years. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary.